Buried beneath centuries of ice and rock, a discovery sheds new light on one of the greatest mysteries of all time. High in the mountains of Turkey, scientists may have unearthed remnants of the legendary three-story vessel that survived the biblical flood, and the discoveries inside may shock you. But with questions around the evidence in a government cover-up alleged, is this Noah's legendary ark? In the heart of Turkey, a historical revelation of monumental proportions has surfaced, unlocking the enigma surrounding Noah's ark, an ancient mystery that has lingered for 5,000 years. The intrigue deepens as we unravel the astounding discoveries within in this age-old vessel, prompting us to question the motives behind Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's decision to keep this marvel hidden from the world. Our journey through time takes us back to the remnants of nations mentioned in the Holy Quran, bearing witness to the consequences of disobedience and the mistreatments of prophets. Noah, known as the Second Adam, confronted a divine deluge that spared only his family and a meticulously chosen assembly of animals aboard the ark. As we navigate through the Holy Quran, Torah, Psalms, and the Bible, the quest for Noah's Ark unfolds as a timeless odyssey. Scientists, irrespective of religious affiliations, have contemplated the fate of this colossal vessel that sheltered life during the apocalyptic flood. In a recent revelation, a team of Chinese Christian missionaries and scientists claim a groundbreaking discovery, the unveiling of Noah's Ark on the towering Mount Ararat in eastern Turkey. Standing majestically at 12,000 feet, this peak cradles the ark, concealed beneath centuries-old layers of snow. The team's findings describe a three-story ark, a testament to ancient craftsmanship. However, skepticism arises, with American scientists challenging the authenticity of the discovery. Questions surround the age of the wood samples subjected to forensic examination, casting doubt on its alignment with Noah's era. This disclosure, however, is not an isolated incident. Over a century of expeditions have sought Noah's Ark, guided by the accounts in the Holy Quran, which narrates its collision with the peak of a mountain named Judy. Some American scientists remain unconvinced by the evidence presented by their Chinese counterparts. The Chinese team of experts stands resolute in their claim, asserting a staggering 99% certainty that the discovered structure is indeed the very Ark constructed by Noah himself a colossal undertaking ordered by God approximately 48,000 years ago. Their meticulous examination has revealed that the ark spans three floors, featuring expansive rooms adorned with wooden pillars. However, this proclamation has sparked questions, even within Arab newspapers, questioning the authenticity of this awe-inspiring find. These publications ponder whether the vessel unveiled by the Chinese and Turkish Christian experts aligns with the historical accounts of Noah's Ark as described in the Holy Quran. Arab newspapers shed light on the collaborative efforts of Chinese and Turkish researchers who delved into the verses of the Holy Quran, seeking insights into the journey of the Ark. These experts, in their quest for authenticity, explore the connection between scripture and the physical remnants uncovered on Mount Ararat. Over the past two decades, Mount Ararat has been a focal point for scientific exploration, drawing numerous researchers. Some have previously identified a rock-shaped structure on the mountains as Noah's Ark. However, the recent collaboration between Chinese and Turkish experts zeroes in on a specific snowy location where the Ark's remains were discovered. The challenging conditions of this location, with temperatures plummeting to minus 60 degrees Celsius and treacherous, steep terrain, did not deter the team. They meticulously observed Noah's Ark from 60 different vantage points, revealing a broken yet remarkably preserved structure buried beneath a thick layer of snow. As the ship displays fractures at several points, the team, undeterred, successfully entered the Ark. Chinese expert Dean Chen, in an official press conference, shared insights from their remarkable research. He described the impressive interior, with each room standing at an impressive height of 5 meters, providing ample space for various animals, reaffirming the extraordinary nature of this momentous discovery. Utilizing cutting-edge radiocarbon technology, Chinese experts meticulously examined the ship's fragments, unveiling a staggering age of approximately 4,800 years. Intriguingly, within the Ark lay sealed boxes that, despite the experts' efforts, remain unopened. 
Undeterred, the team is gearing up for a return expedition to Mount Ararat armed with modern equipment and x-ray machines. This ambitious endeavor aims not only to unveil the mysteries concealed within the boxes, but also to address the queries posed by skeptical American scientists, further cementing the authenticity of their remarkable discovery. The claim of discovering Noah's Ark isn't a recent one, and historical accounts from diverse sources continue to enrich this enigmatic narrative. In a fascinating twist during World War II, a British soldier named Leonard found himself in Iraq, fueled by a passion for history and archaeology, collecting artifacts from local markets. Following Leonard's passing, his son Simon generously donated these artifacts to the British Museum. Among these artifacts was an ancient Assyrian tablet, inscribed with a tale of divine wrath. Examined by British archaeologist Irving Flea, the tablet accounted a story of God's anger leading to the submersion of sinful humanity. Angels conveyed God's message to a righteous man named Noah, resulting in the Tigris and Euphrates Valley. God instructed Noah to construct an ark, not only to shelter the righteous, but also to house pairs of every living creature. The tablet vividly described the ark as colossal, likening its size to that of a football stadium. Astonishingly, experts estimate the tablet to be around 4,000 years old, predating Jesus Christ by 200 years. This revelation stands as another compelling piece of evidence affirming the authenticity of Noah's flood, challenging skeptics, especially those dismissing religious narratives as mere fiction. These tangible traces of history, emerging from various corners of the world, serve as irrefutable proof, urging even the staunchest deniers of religion, particularly Islam, to reconsider their perspectives and recognize the profound truths embedded in these ancient accounts. On this ancient tablet, a distinctive detail of about Noah's Ark surfaces. It wasn't the conventional longship, but rather egg-shaped, a unique vessel navigating the waters of the Tigris and Euphrates during that era. This particular insight adds an enthralling layer to the narrative, offering a peek into the maritime practices of Noah's time. The Holy Quran in Sarah Hud, verse number 44, specifies that the Ark found its rest on a towering mountain named Judy. During the Babylonian period, beliefs held that Mount Garda, near the island of Ibn Omar, now part of Turkey bordering Iraq, was the landing site. Muslim historians identify Mount Garda as Mount Judy, solidifying its significance in Islamic lore. In contrast, Christian missionaries mark that Mount Ararat, straddling the border of Armenia and Turkey, served as the Ark's landing place, sparking a divergence in beliefs. Hazrat Noah, revered as the second Adam in the Sheik of the Prophets, played a profound role as the first prophet sent to humanity. His name resonates 73 times in the Holy Quran, underscoring his significance. Living an astounding 900 years, Hazrat Noah implored his people in ancient Iraq to forsake their rebellious ways. When his pleas fell on deaf ears, Allah commanded him to build the ark, a colossal vessel measuring 300 cubits in length. 50 cubits in width, and 30 cubits in height. As punishment unfolded, unyielding rain poured from the sky and spring surged from the earth, submerging everything in water. For six months and eight days, Noah's Ark floated on the inundated landscape, finally finding its resting place on Mount Judy on the 10th of Muharram. As the waters receded, Hazrat Noah constructed the city of Khorasan and a mosque named Samani. Following the flood, Hazrat Noah lived for only 60 more years. His shrine, a testament to this momentous era, stands in Lebanon to this day. Viewers, we trust this exploration of Noah's Ark has piqued your interest. If you found the information intriguing, please like, share with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content.